All right, welcome back to Ark Ascended here on the island. Today we're going to go over where to find all the artifact caves so that you can go fight the dragon. We're here at the red pillar. We're going to start by checking out what you need. For the gamma, you're going to need four artifacts. This is the, the which shouldn't be the last. I, I would assume do it last. I do it last. And the hardest of the, uh, the bosses before you go into the tech cave. You're going to need the artifact of the cunning, the Skylord, the Immune, and the Strong. And then, if you want to do Beta and Alpha, you're also going to need Allosaurus Brains, uh, Giga Hearts, Titan Tyrannosaurus Arms, uh, Basilosaurus Blubber, Tuso Tentacles, and Uteranus Lungs. And then just more of all those for the Alpha. None of these things are too hard to get, but Basilosaurus Blubbers and the Tuso Tentacles are probably the hardest, just because they don't spawn a lot. Like they're... They're just hard to find. Same with the Gigas. Like, I haven't, I've only seen, I think, two, and one of them despawned. I don't know where it went. I got my own, the only Giga Heart I have, I got from one of the, the Carco, Carco, whatever's it's called. <laughs> the, the not Giga, Giga. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to start with the uh, Caverns of Lost Hope, where we will find the Artifact of the Cunning, and uh, we will meet you over there in just a second. All right, here we are over on the uh, west, no, east, the east side of the island for the Caverns of Lost Hope. You'll find this little outcropping here with a bunch of lights under it. Make sure that donkey's not going to try to attack me. I don't want to deal with that right now. We'll get up here a little closer and give you the coordinates. Now for, for this cave, I'd recommend a Basilosaurus. You can do it at a Tuso if you want to. Sometimes there's some huge, like your, especially your first time, Argus has got some bugs where you might have a massive swarm of uh, sharks in there, Megalodons. So I'd recommend the Basilosaurus because you can't get knocked off by the electric eels things, the electric uh, jellyfish. And uh, let's see here, the coordinates are 61.4 by 99.5, and there we're getting attacked. By a megalodon. Sorry, dolphin, you got in the way. Now there are there's a couple of uh, land spots in this cave, so it's not a terrible idea to bring a baryonyx on follow, park him here at the entrance, or just inside, really, out of the out of the ocean, and then you know clear the cave, come back and get him because he cannot fight the things in there. <laughs> there's no way. Uh, you want to bring, obviously, your scuba gear, and like all caves, you want to bring your medical brews, a crossbow with plenty of grappling hooks, uh, and for, well, you actually you do need an antidotes for onyx in this one as well. So, yeah, antidotes for onyx on pretty much everything, if you do the, the on-land parts. You don't have to do them to get the, the artifact, but if you want to go check out all the potential loot crate spawn locations, then you'll be up on land. And that's the Artifact of the Cunning at the Caverns of Lost Hope. Now we're going to move on to the Artifact of the Immune at the Swamp Cave, and we will be there shortly. All right, now we're up here in the Redwoods next to my base at the Swamp Cave. I don't know why this one is called the Swamp Cave and not the Upper South Cave being called the Swamp Cave, but whatever. I don't make the names. But this here is where we're going to find the Artifact of the Immune. The uh, coordinates for this one are 72.3 by 34.5, roughly. Right here next to the lake in the uh, in the Redwoods. It's not hard to find, but it is, it is a challenging cave in here. you got to have a gas mask or a scuba set, because there is noxious gas in here that will kill you very fast. You want to wear your best hide armor, and bring some fiber. You'll get you'll get plenty of uh, hide in there because there's arthroplore in there. They're gonna destroy your armor. You can bring in. I I always do it on a baryonyx. Uh, you used to be able to do it on the megatherium. You might still be able to. I kind of doubt it though. I don't think one can get through here anymore. They've narrowed a few of the cave entrances. Don't quote me on that. I mean, give it a shot if you wanna if you wanna try the megatherium. I don't, I don't ever mess with Megatheriums because I don't like having, I don't like taming that many different things. 
I'm kind of a simpleton like that, I guess. But the, they have the Rage Against Bugs, and there's a lot of bugs in there. So many bugs. But this is this is probably the this is probably the best cave for running for loots for loot crates for the red loot crates because it's it's relatively short and you can get in and out. It'll respawn every hour or so. Uh, they're usually red. There's usually there's almost always two in there. Like I quite often find a yellow and a red on you know, in almost the same spots every time I go in there. And you're gonna need these these loot crates. You need a good shotgun, and you need a good wreck saddle blueprint. Like those are those are two most important things you're looking for when you're looking for these loot crates. Uh, bring your shot bring a shotgun or rifle to pull mobs if you don't want to face tank everything. Well, you're gonna face tank everything anyway, but if you don't want to run into the middle of the mobs to start the face tanking. All right, and that is the swamp cave. Um, with the Artifact of the Immune. Next, we will head on up to the Snow Cave for the Artifact of the Strong. All right, here we are up here at the Snow Cave. This one holds the Artifact of the Strong. Look out for Uteranus around here. They are prevalent. Let's get inside here and park. We'll get the coordinates, 32 by 28. This is probably the hardest cave in the game, maybe. It's definitely on the list. It's one of the hardest. This one, uh, I highly recommend bringing uh, Uteranus. Well, you can't you can't bring a Uteranus. You have to raise it inside. So I tried it on I tried it on a saber tooth. I tried it on Baryonyx. I I couldn't get a Thyla in there, so I didn't try it with that. And I, I tried it with like a Baryonyx and a pack of saber tooths. And like the cave itself is just. Like, ASA is still a little too wonky to handle packs of dinos in the caves. ASC was always kind of like that, too. But you got this spot right here that prevents you from getting anything big inside. And you can see that green dot coming up there, Uteranus. I haven't even given him a name. Don't fall in the ice water. It doesn't actually hurt in ASA for some reason. But this is what you're going to want to do. Like, set up a little area. Oh, shit. There's a respawn wolf right there. Not expecting that. Didn't think they came up that far, but that's fine. I'll just hop on the Uteranus if it sees me. Uh, bring like 10 to 15 torches in here. Bring your Uteranus egg. You're gonna want a pretty decent Uteranus, like something that can hit hard and take plenty of like take plenty of damage. Like this one has gotten it's up to 295, 36,000 health, 1,400 damage. This guy is he's a tank. And also be prepared for frustration, because there are times where this guy will just blink to the surface. Like, if you leave him parked in here, he might just blip. He's on the surface now. I don't understand the bug. My, this one hasn't done it yet, but my Baryonyx and my, my Sabertooth, every one I left down here, if I, if I, I'd go back to bring another one in, and the two, two that were down here were all of a sudden on top. It was, it was ridiculous. Oh, gotta go make sure my my, uh, my uh, Tronodon's not getting messed with back here. Okay, yeah, it's up top still. Good, good, good. All right. Um, for this one, you're gonna want to bring your best flat gear and your best fur gear. Depends on how good your flat gear on is for how much fur gear you need. But you want to make sure that anytime if you do actually, if you do get off your dino. Uh, you don't get immediately annihilated because there are Perlovia. I, I think the Uteranus is tall enough that it should not knock you off, but I wouldn't test it. I uh, just use the Perlovia's Fear Roar, or uh, the Uteranus's Fear Roar, to chase the Perlovia out. You can also use grenades if you're on a different dinosaur. Just toss grenades at the uh, little, little circles on the ground. Um, definitely make sure you bring a uh, pickaxe because there's a few places, I think two places, where you have to harvest crystals to be able to go through. Uh, make sure you obviously bring your shotgun or rifle to pull mobs. Always a good idea. Uh, this is super critical to bring uh, a lot of grappling hooks in this one because some of the, uh, the loot crates are up on cliffs or across the frozen water in really annoying places that you have to grappling hook to. 
And the biggest thing is there's like polar bears in there, like reskinned bears from the red redwood forest. And they hit so hard. So go slow, take your time, heal up with all the meat you get. Like the uh, even and once you get to the water area, eat all that fish too. The fish works on the uteranus right now. So you want to get healed up as quick as you can. I highly recommend the uteranus egg route. And uh, yeah, that is the snow cave for the, containing the artifact of the strong. Now let's move on to the fourth and final cave for the dragon, which is the northwest cave, which is actually really close, right on the other side of the mountain, where we have the artifact of the Skylord. This, if the last cave wasn't the hardest, this next one definitely is. But we'll, uh, we'll catch up as soon as we get there. All right, the fourth and final cave, the Northwest Cave, is way up here in the snow and ice. And it's on this cliff here. You can, if you don't have a flyer, which you should have a flyer by now for sure, uh, just walk down this cliff place here and it'll, it'll bring you right to the cave entrance right here. I might have to kill that, that uh, bird there, we'll see. And it is, is right, you literally have to crawl in this cave. It is, it's crazy. It's right here on the map. Let's zoom out a bit so you can see where it is. Right there in that little inlet at the northwest. And it's uh, 26 by 5.9. Way up there. Way up here, way up there. This is a foot only cave. You can bring a shoulder pet if you want. Uh, I don't think I'd recommend it. Like not one that's gonna like throw things or get off and do things. Cause they're just gonna die. <laughs> But you definitely want your best, the best armor you have available, like a flak and fur combo. It's really cold in here. Uh, you want, like, save this cave to last because you need, you need a, a very, very good shotgun. Well, it's the better your shotgun, the easier the cave's going to be. Uh, bring a lot of medical brews, so you can heal up faster, and a lot of antidotes because there's onyx in here. You're probably going to get uh, mega rabies a couple of times, so be ready for that. Uh, there are pits in here that will instantly kill you, so make sure you have your grappling hooks, lots of them, at least seven, maybe fifteen. Like the the pit, you literally can't walk in them. You they're just like black pits of despair. You die. I'm pretty sure you still have to crawl. I haven't actually been in here in ASA. Yeah, got to crawl to get in. Something screamed at me, so I don't want to. And yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it for this one. This is the artifact of the Skylord in the Northwest Cave. So if uh, the video helped you out, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out, helps the video get seen by more people. Makes it more available for other people to find the information they need. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Oh, uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. We've got at least two new videos coming out every week at this point. There's usually... Usually just a couple of Let's Plays, but I try to get these tutorials in as often as I can. As often as my Let's Play gets me far enough that I can, I have the stuff to do the recording. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time.